The House of the Dead Overkill was released on the Wii back in 2009. The fifth entry in the infamous arcade rail shooter franchise, this console exclusive diverged from its source material, creating a grindhouse aesthetic which enveloped ridiculous over-the-top characters, ludicrous plot twists, and more swearing than a bout of Grand Theft Auto. Now, in 2013, we have the Lost Reels iOS. In it, you take control of either Agent G or Isaac Washington as you blast through so-called deleted scenes, gaining enough cash to upgrade your weapons and try the whole thing all over again. We thought you'd be tapping zombies to fire and maybe swiping to reload, but nothing could be further from the truth. Instead, one hand moves the aiming reticle around you like you're using a joystick, while the other manages the fire, reload and weapon change buttons. Now, it sounds like a control scheme like this would be terrible, but don't fret, because it actually works fairly well, allowing you to pull off headshots with relative ease. This is important, because the amount of cash you acquire at the end of each stage is tied to your ranking, and your ranking is partially tallied by keeping a combo multiplier going through fast and gruesome zombie execution. The cash you collect is then used to upgrade your weapon's recoil, damage, ammo, rate of fire, and so on. You can also spend it on new weapons, upgrading your character, and acquiring boosts. While the prices suggest that you could be in for a bit of a grind, you should actually be able to upgrade a couple of things after each level. The progression is a little slow, that is, until it has the temerity to charge you for the final scenario. Considering the cost of the app, this additional nickel and diming definitely earns the game a black mark. However, with fantastic music, atmospheric visuals, and a whole host of secret goodies to discover, plus the fun of playing levels with high power death machines and the unlockable tap to shoot controls, fans of rail shooters should consider adding this to their collection. It doesn't have the overall production value of the console original, but as a companion piece, it just about holds its own. Reload. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.